Now, on this episode of A Prepper's Life. So we got to walk into historic Lynchburg, uh, which is only three to five minutes walk from, from the distillery. And there we can find hats and all kinds of merchandise. They all have. Yeah, you would think they'd have all their merchandise right there where you go in, because. Yeah, you think they want to get you up here though so you can buy more stuff. Yeah, apparently. I wonder if that's a deal they made with the town. <laughs> <laughs> That was us. No, I didn't understand a word he said either. <laughs> anyway, if you have not noticed, we took a trip to Lynchburg, Tennessee to see the Jack Daniels Distillery. And that guy, you couldn't understand a word he said. Well, he was our tour guide. So without further ado, let's get on with the tour. One quarter wood makes two rigs, but we need something to accelerate the burn with. What we might use? Whiskey. Whiskey's right. <laughs> no petroleum products used to start that fire. We sent a couple guys down the steel and they pick up five gallons of 140 proof. And they come back before. <laughs> 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 Pretty cool fire trucks, huh? Well, uh, the newest looking one was named, uh, it was called an REO Speedwagon, and the tour guide joked that the rock band REO Speedwagon took their name from from his fire truck. Uh, but at this point, he also started telling a story about Jack Daniels that uh, I wanted you to hear, and he was hard to hear, so uh, let me start the story, I'll set it up, and then we'll go into kind of something funny. But the story goes that Jack Daniel's mom died very young when he was very young. I don't remember the age. But so he went down the street to live with a preacher and his family. And the preacher uh, owned some stores. He was a farmer and he also made whiskey. And of course, he taught Jack Daniels how to make it make the whiskey. Uh, but then the uh, preacher had a an epiphany or had a change of heart so to speak and the tour guide is about to explain why he uh, had this change of heart and it was because of a woman named something lovejoy or something like that but anyways at this point let's cut back into the video by a woman named lady love now miss you're grinning miss no, you're going to explain yourself now. I thought you, it was a funny name. Why did you think it was a funny name? 
I want you to show everybody here. <laughs> you're the one got caught laughing. Now what? Uh, you're going. Now you're making me blush. Come, you come see? clean. <laughs> come clean on this. I think I've read about her. You think you have? I'll tell you what, man. <laughs> you ought to be ashamed of yourself because she was a preacher. Well, yeah. <laughs> Don't you feel bad now? I do now. Yeah. You better go to church while I repent. I will. <laughs> Just teasing me. There's one in every group that does it every time. <laughs> Miss Love was a preacher and she did approach Mr. Call. She said, Mr. Call, it's not right. You're preaching the word of the Lord on Sunday or Monday. You're making whiskey. Right. You need to decide what you want to do because you can't do both. Mr. Call thought about that and decided to follow the Lord and sold his still to young Jack for $25 when Jack was 13 years old. And that's how Jack Gunning got started. Listen. Turn up powder because that's what you're going to get. 40 cases of whiskey. These are Tennessee sipping whiskeys. Now, you've all seen your Westerns on TV. The cowboy walks in the bar and he says, Barton, give me whiskey. What's he doing? Bingo. Exactly. Goes right straight back. The total wrong way to drink whiskey. Because when you do that, you bypass your taste buds and you go straight from the back of the throat. All you're going to feel is the old fish in the barrel. That's all you're going to feel. You're not going to taste anything. And guys, let's be honest with ourselves in here. I'd say 90% of you fellas in here, along with myself included, that you've gone to the bar and done shots with your buddies, haven't you? <laughs> oh, don't act like you're innocent with me, golly. <laughs> you all, you all have done it. Because of the way we are taught to drink whiskey, we're men, we're tough, we can handle that, right? <coughs> What'd it get you, sir? What'd you get from that? Drunk. There you go. <laughs> Hangover, headaches, threw money away, didn't we? Sure. But we're men, we're tough, we can handle that. Oh, we, did we miss out? It's a sipping whiskey. Slow down, take your time, enjoy. <laughs> Just playing with the animals while we're waiting for something else to do. Well, we've made it to Nashville.